like this. Yeah. What's it been? Uh, you've been out there with your brother, you know, quite a mm -hmm. bit recently. Uh, what's that been like being out there together uh, in the same play? I mean, it's cool, but like, there's nothing I'm, we haven't been used to. Because all four years through high school, we was playing side by side. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of just, it's different now because it's at this level, but it's the same kind of, same feeling that we've always had. You guys have chemistry out there together, do you think? Yeah, I think we do. We talk, we communicate, let each other know what we see, like different tendencies and stuff like that. So, but all together, it's real cool playing on the field with my brother at the same time. All together. I ain't going to lie. How's it like getting back on back? Oh, that's a big part. Uh, we could have really used him last year. It's good. We get him back on the defense this year, see what he could do. And it's just good seeing him run around and stuff again without having the, without the yellow jersey out here getting to hit people again. So that's good. You guys have had a lot of movement outside, inside with the linebackers. Is that, are those two positions vastly different, pretty similar? How, uh, how hard is that to move back and forth? I say was, they're a lot different, to be honest, because Inside, you're playing behind the ball, and outside, you're forcing the ball back inside of everybody. The job responsibilities and like body, like different body types and stuff is different from outside to outside to inside. But at the end of the day, it's just football. You just gotta take the time to learn it, and you'll be fine. Is there a position you're more comfortable with, or are you uh, good moving in between both? I'm good going back and forth, but I haven't been able to get real comfortable in one spot, so it's just kind of back and forth. So I feel good at both spots. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty solid with going back and forth. I don't need to just play one. To get a guy like Josh back after what he's been through, what kind of leadership does he add to that defense? Um, it's just another vocal leader. Like we lost, we lost like Pitt last year, which is one of our vocal leaders, and Josh should have been one too last year. But since he wasn't able to participate, he just stayed on the sideline. But now he's back. You hear his voice. He's on the sideline trying to get other guys to bring some juice to the defense and stuff like that. So it's kind of different. We needed it because it's like a. We got another field general out there, so it's good. You guys have got some other guys that have gone down with uh, PLS being out for a couple games, and then mm -hmm. uh, and then Tyree having the uh, foot surgery. Do you guys feel like you guys have the depth to kind of deal with deal with those? Losses? Yeah, I think there's enough guys that could that could pull their weight and get fit in on the defense without like no drop off. I think there's a good amount of guys that could do that. All come in and play, and it won't seem like anything different. Weren't you guys in shorts uh, in the first half of practice? Yeah, we were. But uh, now you're in full pads with any insignificant. So, what are you talking about? Practice wasn't up to par, so Coach made us put our pads on. That was oh, all wow. it was. What was that What was that like? Were you guys like dogging it a little bit? Or what was no, it? Yeah. trying to keep a positive mindset. Just come out there and finish strong. Can you feel it when it's not up to par? Like yeah, you could feel it. Just the energy was low. Uh, you didn't hear nobody echoing team periods and stuff like that. There was no energy on our sideline or on the blue sideline. Side so all together, just the energy was low. People kept falling, can't have that at practice. So it just wasn't up to par, but up to our standard. So he made us go put our pads on. You you put your pads on. Do you personally come out here and kind of take it upon yourself to raise it a little bit? Yeah, well, well for the whole defense, we just huddled up when we got back out here. It was like... Just no negative energy and things like that. Like, let's finish this strong. And then that got us over the little hill, the little hump. So it wasn't really that bad. Dude, at this point in camp, has anyone surprised you with how they've kind of stepped into a leadership role? Um, um, i say probably Darnay Holmes. He really stepped up and started becoming a, more of a vocal leader, letting people know and he, care, like, he cares for you. So everything he says to you is genuine and he's never going to come at you with no BS. So when he talks, I listen. So I say, and he, it wasn't like that for him last year. He was just one of the funny guys, but now he's maturing and growing up and stepping into a real leadership position. Do you ever call him out on that, being like, hey, what, what's going on here? Are you just like... Yeah, just, like we be joking around like, damn, what happened to you? <laughs> like, yeah, it's all funny. How, how close would you say you are to your brother? I mean, when you guys are on the road, do you room together, in the meetings, do you sit next to each other? How does, how does that work? Well, right now, he's in the inside linebacker meeting room, I'm the outside linebacker okay. meeting room, so... But... We don't live. Wait, say the question one more time. We live together. Nah, yeah, we live together. We have an apartment, obviously, like two rooms. So yeah, this okay. is my my room. On campus, though, when we first got here, we didn't live together oh, in the okay. dorms. I lived with Damian Alloway. He's not with us no more. He lives with Boss. Okay. So what, what about when you guys are uh, on the road? Do you guys room together? Nah. Oh really? We don't even we don't have control of that. We just oh, right. wherever the room keep telling us to go. 
What about majors? Same majors? Yeah, we're both sociology. Okay. Yeah. Were you guys really close when you were younger too? You guys have so many siblings, right? Yes, yeah, uh, I got uh, I got three brothers and four sisters. So it is a lot of us. And we was cool. real close when we was young. It was like my older sisters, they were they were together. And it was like me. And I have another younger brother that goes to Sac State. So it was like us three were like best, all best friends together growing up. And my two younger sisters came after that. And I got a youngest brother, he's seven. So yeah, it's a lot of us. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate